Cindy, Cindy Otter with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, today, I'm doing really well. Today we're going to work on our Explorations of Me journal. And this is going to be for October. Yeah, fall. Hmm. It's going to get chilly, chilly, chilly. But anyways, um, for October we're doing Forgive and Forget. And how do I do that? Okay. So let's find a page. Um, and I've also been thinking about it. I want to challenge myself to do a just plain black and white page. That's all I want, black and white. So we're going to see what we can do. Now, do I want to do a full page? Do I want to do a partial page? You know what? This page looks good. All right. It's got that line of color. We're going to get out of there because that's got a line of color in it, and I don't want color in it. Uh, let's see. Some of them are single pages, double pages. I got a lot of single pages left. Uh, I'm going to have to do some negativity smack down. There's another line of color. Hmm. Oh, there's one. There's no color on that one. We've got another month we've done. You know what? Do, 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 do. I wonder if I have any one on this side. Hey, there we go. There's one. Kind of in the middle of the page. We're going to cover this up with some gesso. So when we get going here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some gesso um, to cover this up. But I need to get my stuff in here so I don't end up getting it all over another page. Because you never know with me. I can be messy, messy, messy. All right. So we're talking about forgive and forget. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Oh, it's got red in it. It's picking up my red. No, I don't want red. I want white. Cover that all up. You know what we'll do? I won't use that off my palette. We'll just take it like that. This is gesso that I'm using. And a little bit later on, I will go ahead and get into the, um, I will get into the white paint. But for right now, I'm just throwing down a nice coat of gesso. getting on the gesso. So how do we do this? The only thing I can say, the easiest way I've found, and I actually heard it um, a while ago on a show, and I've thought a lot about the comment when it was made, and what it was said is, um, the past is my rearview mirror, right? I'm looking out the windshield. So, I'll be very honest with you. My past, if I had decided to allow it to rule my future, um, I would be a very, very unhappy girl. Right? So, we have to make those choices. Let me dry this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so since I'm going to be using black and white, I'm actually using Diane Reeve Lee's paints. Um, this one is black marble, and I've got the white linen here, which I'll be using that as well. Um, so for right now, we're going to start with this. And what I'm going to use is this big cosmetic sponge. Um, I like them because they, they're they thick enough so that I have something to hold on to when I'm doing this, and I just I really enjoy how large they are. Um, take some out of the lid, and then I pounce it over here on my palette. And we're going to put in, I don't want it really, you know, just a solid black, more of a kind of a shadowish black, if that makes sense. Shadowish, does that make sense? It does to me. Nope, there's a little bit dark, that's okay. And again, I'm just, I just want to put a little bit of the black here, nothing crazy. Before I take it off, I'm just going to lift it up. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, and do it again over here. Just give it a little bit of design. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and I'm going to do one more down here. Alright, so there's that one. Now I also have these um, 
little tiny flowers, and I keep getting black flakes all over. Ugh. These little tiny flowers. Um, this was a Prima stencil. Um, right here's the the uh, mark on it. This is a Finnabar stencil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same black. And these are going to be a little bit darker. I don't want them everywhere. It's, it's going to end up looking, yeah, like dark spots. There we go. That's what I wanted. I don't know what made me decide to do a black and white page, but here we are. We're just going to do it and see what happens. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. So we've got that one and that one. Now, um, I've got now, I've got some, um, not die cut, stamped images here that I stamped quite a while ago. And I got those out because I was thinking, hmm, if I'm doing black and white, these would be really cool because these girls are all white and black. Because I haven't colored, I haven't covered them yet um, in any colors. I haven't painted them or colored them. So, what a great idea to use these. So I'm going to have to do some more trim on them, especially this girl. Her hair is all wonky. So we're going to have to do some trim. Let me go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. All right, so the fussy cutting is done. Now, for those of you that, the yous, those of yous, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> those of you that don't recognize these, these are the gorgeous girls, and here's just a couple examples of them. Um, I love these girls. I just think they're really cool and a lot of fun to play with. So, what I'm gonna do, um, we're looking at Forgive and Forget. Now, I've got two girls here, and we're just gonna have a nice little friendship, but because they're primarily white, I really want to darken up the background for them. So what I plan to do, and let's see if this works. And I may have to do this on other parts of the page just so this black blob doesn't stick out. But I need, yeah, that's what I wanted. So let me just kind of take this over a little bit other places yeah 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 but I love it when I'm happy <laughs> so we're just gonna kinda darken in a little bit of this oops get back here girls stay there um, I just wanna even this out a little bit so see it's still quite black in that one square but we're gonna fix that All right. I don't want to lose too much of what we've already put down, but I definitely have to, uh, there we go. Okay. And this is just, ooh, I like that. Oh, look at the wrinkles. Yeah. See that? See those wrinkles? Perfect. Perfect texture, right? Yeah. Love them. Very cool. See, it, it pays just to play. You never know what you're going to come up with. I like it. Alright, now even though it's quite black, that's okay. Because, I'm going to dry this real quick, then we're going to add our girls, and I've got some other embellishments that we're going to put on here. So let me dry it up, I'll be right back. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got my two gorgeous girls. Gorgeous girls, all right. And I know right now when I lay them down, it's just kind of a washout, but that's that's not going to stay like that. So it's all good. I have this. This is a Diane Reevely, um stamp. This is just another one that I had stamped. I'm going to put that here. I also have a bunch of hearts that I'm going to cut out and put around. And I have these flowers. These again, I've stamped them, but I haven't colored them yet. So these are just going to happen down here in the corner. So the first thing I'm going to do is get out my decoupage and we are going to put this stuff down and then we're going to come back and we're going to make it stand out a little bit. So let's do that. 
All right, so we're talking about forgiving, right? Again, it's much easier said than done. Some people have a really hard time with that. I get it. I totally get it. I understand. Um, forgiving and forgetting is just, it's difficult. And I've, I've heard some people say, well, if you can't forgive and forget, then just pick one. Right? I guess that would work. All right, I just want this to stay pasted down. And I don't like the fact that this is coming up, so, but let's see what we can do. We're gonna mess around with our flowers down here in the corner. Okay, and again, all of this is gonna um, stand out once I get it done the way I want it. But this is a challenge to use strictly black and white. I'm going to do my best to keep it that way. So let's see how well I do, right? All right, I've got those flowers there. Do I want to put them all down here? <laughs> I'm going to put some hearts. This is going to be a pretty simple page. And you know what? I think... Hmm. No. I want to put them up here. Just because I can. There's one. I know you're supposed to do things in threes, but I don't have another one stamped out, and I am not going to dig through 1,100 stamps to figure out where it is. <laughs> so we're sticking with two. All right, I like that. Now these girls, like I said, we're going to put them down here. So I'm going to just throw down some decoupage on there. I'm going to decoupage the back of them. That's something I learned, that if you decoupage both, then it's, the glue sticks to itself, so you get a much better adhesive. Oh no, she got dirty with my hands. My dirty, dirty hands. See if I can get it off her. Yep. There we go, now she's white again. It's because my hands are all dirty with that black. And every other color I've been playing with today. All right. So now we're going to take her. She's going to go right here. We're going to decoupage the back of her. Okay. So, um, let's see. How can you forgive and forget? One of the things to um, actually really focus on is the fact that the past has no control whatsoever over your future, right? Um, a lot of things happen in the past, a lot of things. Whether it be, you know, an emotional situation you were in, an abusive situation you were in, um, whatever the case may be, maybe you were, I don't know, um, maybe your ex decided to cheat on you and messed up the marriage. I mean, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, there is, there are ways to just forgive and forget. Um, that doesn't have any control over your today. So there's no reason to keep looking at it and keep bringing it up and keep hashing it out. And there's no reason for it. So... You know, like I said, one of the things I heard was, you know, that's my rearview mirror. And that's very true. Think about it as, in, as if you're driving. Are you going to look in the back and say, oh my gosh, that car, you know, should have did this or I should have done that? No, you look at what's in front of you. Right? So, all right, I'm not going to kill you guys with all this fussy cutting of these wonderful little hearts. But I am going to keep cutting some hearts and get them put on this page. And then we're going to come back. And what I'll do is we'll get everything to stand out again. So let me fussy cut, and I'll be back with you. All right, so we've got a bunch of hearts cut out, and now I'm just going to put them down. There's one. Oops, get back up there. Stay there. That also is, that, It also helps when you um, glue the back of them because then that it, it stops some of that moving around like that. All right, so let's just, we're gonna throw another one over here. Right there. Oops, 
Well, not so much. It does, though. I think it's just because I have so much glue on here. It's okay. All right, we're going to throw one right here. Got a bunch of them. I must have been in a fussy cutting kind of a mode there for a few minutes. Stop! Stay where you are. Got a little bitty 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 one. I'm gonna put the little itty bitty bitty one right there. You know you probably can't see it. Got a couple more smaller ones. We're gonna throw one right here. here. Oops. The only thing, I, another thing I just, I want to say real quick about forgive and forget is um, to forgive and forget, in my opinion, does not mean that you have to agree with the person, place, or thing that you're trying to forgive or forget. Okay? Um, but it does mean that you can move on from it. It doesn't um, affect you in your daily life. It doesn't keep coming back up and haunting you. Um, and it's okay. It's okay for that to happen. Here I am drying this while I'm talking. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, let me get this dried up. And then we're going to be right back. And we're going to make this stuff pop. And we'll finish up our forgive and forget. We'll be right back. All right, so let's get playing here. Um, what I did, I had to take a take a break for uh, dinner. My hubs and I have both been eating a lot healthier, so we have actually have dinner a lot earlier than we used to. Um, but it's good. Yeah, just tie that back down. Okay, or, yeah, tie it. I'm gonna tie it down. No, I gotta glue it back down. Um, <laughs> We're talking about forgive and forget, right? Yeah. Um, just remember, like I said, you got You have to focus on the good. You have to focus on the future. Uh, looking back is not going to help. It just isn't. Oh, by the way, I'm using a Stabilo All pencil. And what I'm just going to do is... I've got a lot on here, which is okay, and I'm just going to blend it out. So these things will stand out much more than they do right now. But I can also just use that um, color to blend out, right? So we're just going to wake up these pieces that I've put on here. Um, <laughs> when we talk about forgive and forget, I will tell you, I was the first person that would absolutely never forgive. And to be honest with you, um, I'll be 50 years old this year, and ever since my, um, my accident that has put me in the position that I'm in now, I've learned... A lot. I've learned that there's more important things than holding grudges, and there's more important things to life than, you know, um, just not being whole, I guess is the word I want to say. So I feel that yes, I have forgiven. I can never say I will forget because you can't just forget something. Well, you can, important things, but things like that you don't normally forget. Um, but I don't have to bring things up about the past anymore. I mean, forgiven? Mm, uh, okay. Forgot? No. I won't ever forget some of the things. But you know what? It's okay because I don't allow that past um, to rule my future. And I heard another quote the other day um, in some it was we've been watching a lot of like survivalist movie type things stories and there was a guy that says he said my history is not going to be my destiny 
boy, if some more people would think that way, think about it. My history is not going to be my destiny. How cool is that? So that really plays into the forgive and forget. You know, it's, it's your history. Are you going to let it rule? Are you going to let it live in your future? Are you going to let it, you know, make... Are you going to let it? Okay. I say no. Don't let it. You don't need to let it. It's your history. It's in the past. There is not a thing that can be done about it. Just like time. I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. You, you can't. You've got this moment and forever moments. You know, you don't have um, forever moments, future moments. You don't, you can't go back and say, well, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had, doesn't matter. You did it. It's done. It's over. There's nothing more you can do, right? So while I'm sitting here chit-chatting, I'm just going around all of these images with the Stabilo. And basically I'm just trying to give it a little bit more of the black. And then I will also be coming in with the white. I don't know as I will use, you know I've never used the white Stabilo with the water pen. We might try that and see how it turns out. But I'm just, right now I'm bringing out the black. Which is what I, I want to do. I want to just make them, make it dark all around them so that they just kind of pop. See how they, you can tell they're there now? Okay, I still need to calm some of this down with white, which I will do. But in the meantime, we're going to keep working with our black. And I like to have a sharp Stabilo pencil to work with. I don't like it when it um, it's kind of like chunky. So again, we're just going outlining our hearts. Yeah, we're going to play this, scale it back a little bit and get some white in here. Make it all good. So can you think of something that you're holding on to that you can um, forgive? forget. <clears throat> and like I said, forgiving doesn't mean you have to agree with it. Forgiving is more of a uh, self, selfless um, action. Okay, to forgive somebody, you do, it, it's, it's more for you than it is the other person. Because Think about it. They don't care. Um, if you forgive someone, it's in your heart that makes it better. It's not in theirs. They don't really care. Whatever's happened, happened. They don't. They could care less. But for us, it's better to forgive and forget. And then that way, you know, we feel better about everything, including our own lives. And you have so much to look forward to in the future. You know? Um, to be honest with you, when I first had my accident, boy, I was, I was upset at the company that I worked for. And the reason being is because, you know, I thought they didn't, they didn't care, which, to be honest with you, they don't. I was just another number on their payroll. Um, and I've chosen, it's taken me time, but I have chosen to forgive it because number one it's nothing I can control I I knew um, the company I didn't realize how I want to say bad it was but um, I can forgive you know what they've, they've got to do what they've got to do for their business I have to do what I have to do for my health so that's just the way it's going to be so it is okay to forgive and forget well, I forget how they treated me, probably over time. Um, but for right now, yeah, it's still in my head. It's like, hmm, that wasn't cool. But it's okay because you know what? 
what happened happened they have no control of my future um, I'm happy pretty much you know I've I've grown a lot over these years um, and I think part of that growth is the forgive and forget All right, so now we've got these pretty well outlined so they pop a little bit more. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry the pages up really good and then I'm gonna come back in with some white. And the thing is I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this. I'm not sure if I want to use a brayer. Mm, no, okay, my head just said no, we're not doing that. I think we're gonna be using a sponge and we're gonna softly um, whiten up some of these areas so that we can bring even more of these girls out so let me dry it up and we'll be right back all right so I have my little sponge here with some white and what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna start just messing around with it I want to knock some of it back just a little bit just enough so that you know we have a black and white page and then what I've been thinking about is I think I'm gonna yeah, see that's making them see how they're coming out they're coming up out because we've got the black around the edges and my uh, recorder is doing something so I gotta shut it off I believe change my battery and I'll be right back that's better now it's not yelling at me like it was it was saying hello you got issues so it's all good it's all good now what I want to do because I'm knocking some of this black back again okay it's it's popping this and now what I'm gonna do I want some black. And I'm going to take a credit card, hotel room card, whatever you want to call it, reward card, store card, whatever the case may be. And I'm just going to play. Just playing. We can play, right? And while we're doing this, we're thinking about, you know, forgiving and forgetting. It can be done. Just remember to always look to your future. You know, if you decide you're going to forgive and forget something, um, the reason you're doing it is because you don't need to carry that with you the rest of your life. Your life will be so much uh, easier. It will be a lot less stressed um, if you can forgive. I also have another thing here, and these are uh, rub-ons. These are letters that I got a long, 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 long time ago. Um, in a dollar store and I'm just gonna they're rub-ons gonna throw some on here and get some paint on them why not because again so in this this will just add basically another layer to the um, page okay they don't have to be whole they don't have to be perfect I'm just putting extra extra goodies in there and I am getting black paint all over everything hold on a second let me dry this up all right so I got a couple things I want to put on here um, I'm going to use my archival ink my black is still a little bit wet but that's all right um, and the first thing I'm going to put on here is forgive and forget and I have these this is the set of those um, letters I love these I use these a lot and I love the fact that I can just put them and they hold together you don't have to do um, each letter separately. I love the fact that they stick together. So, and I'm gonna do it with my archival ink, and I'm just gonna put on here forgive. And you know what? I 
going to go back up under it because I know it's not solid on all the letters. Forgive. And do, do, do. And, and. And of course, I do uppercase, lowercase, I don't care. I think that just adds to it. And, right, forget. Again, I don't think it's going to happen, so I'm going to go up under it so I can put my hand there, put the pressure on it so I have the forget. And it shook a little, which is fine. I'm good with that. Um, I'm just going to use up some extra ink here. Forget. Huh, there we go. All right, and the other thing I want to put on here, I love this little stamp. I found this the other day at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and I just love him. He's so cute. So, my little aunt is going to go right here. All right. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> you see him there? All right, so here we go for this month, for October. Forgive and forget. How do I do this? It's not easy. It really isn't. But um, try to find it in your heart to at least forgive you don't ever have to forget I mean we have memories for a reason but um, if you can forgive someone something from your past you're gonna find you feel so much lighter and you just you feel better about yourself so I hope this month I'd love to, you know I hope it helps you out I'd love to see what you create Gina and I both and really enjoy looking at your pages and as always be kind have fun that's what life's all about Check out Gina's link in the description box below. And as always, happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.